So the idea is that we do not want to speak every word very clearly because then I sound like a robot <laughs> or I sound angry and we don't want to sound angry unless I'm angry. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead. English speakers do not speak words word by word. They speak thought by thought. Okay. English speakers do not speak word by word. They speak thought by thought. Well, let me, let me slow it down. And I want you guys to make these kind of swoosh marks like that. Okay. To kind of group the words together. So English speakers do not speak word by word. They speak thought by thought. English speakers do not speak word by word. They speak thought by thought. So, and what that means, you guys, is it means we don't say every word, we say groups of words, okay? So start thinking of your speech as kind of moving in those patterns like that, okay? So let's do this here. Hopefully you guys got something similar. And English speakers do not speak word by word. They speak thought by thought, okay? These are not um, distinct um, parts of a sentence, they're just, phrases. They're groups of words. So nothing more than that. They are not individual sentences or anything like that. But what we are doing is putting a little bit of space here and here and here. Okay. We're putting space there, you guys, and here. Okay. So think of yourself and let's just really exaggerate it. English speakers do not speak word by word. They speak thought by thought. Have you guys ever gone to watch a speech by somebody maybe, or uh, maybe even in church or um, someplace where you have somebody who's doing some public speaking. So it's, you know, one person in front of a large group. And many times um, those people, when they're training to become good public speakers, they practice pausing. Okay. So there's a couple of things. One way one thing about this is that this helps you to give yourself some pacing and patience with speaking. Um, and I've said this before, and I'm going to remind you again, um, fluent English does not mean fast. Fluent does not. Oh gosh, I can't write it. Fluent. You guys, hopefully this helps you feel a little does not equal fast. Okay it's an illusion. Okay. You are, you, if you're watching these videos, you're not likely a native speaker of English. So everything is going to sound fast to you. Okay. My speech is not fast, but I speak faster with friends and family, right? I, when I am teaching, I slow down and I take pauses so that I make sure that you guys can understand what I'm saying. Okay. Good speakers, people who are effective leaders in organizations or um, people who stand up and give speeches understand that slowing the speech down makes it more impactful, okay? And really, I guarantee, I guarantee 95% of the people that you are speaking with are not going to be judging you on the speed of your English. What they want to do is understand you. So they're probably not even worried about, you know, accent or did he choose the correct grammar or vocabulary there? It's like, how is the message of what that person is saying understandable to me? That's what I want to know for me when I'm listening to somebody. Okay. I, I think I'm maybe not the best judge because I am a teacher and I do really believe and um I, I i also enjoy accented english um but you can understand then for me that i have more experience also working with people with accents because i've been doing it for a long long time but please you guys fluent does not equal fast okay take your time slow down try it out